Good Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. More of the same for us. Another cold, clear morning. Yesterday we had kind of the same situation. We woke up to temperatures in the teens. We had completely cloud-free skies, very light winds. So at least yesterday the winds were getting better as we move along to the day. But uh, at this point we start the day with almost no wind. And you see some of that frost out there, a little bit of that in the grass and some of the treetops. You see that from CC Heights. Uh, that's our quality group camera. It's 13 degrees, the very light wind. Just the past few minutes, we've begun to register any type of wind speed or movement and until about the top of the hour. We had had calm winds all together, but now five mile per hour winds out of the south. That's going to work to eventually usher in some slightly warmer air. We'll have the sunshine to go with that as we go from the teens right now into the 30s. Something that would be actually kind of nice. That's something a little closer to the seasonal average uh, for this time of the year uh, and maybe even a little bit better than the seasonal average, but without much wind. Not worry about one of those days where it's going to be windy and warmer and you think, well, it never does feel warmer when it's windy. But no, this time around, it's a light breeze, but still feeling warmer heading into the afternoon. So good news there. And it looks like we're going to stick with this kind of theme for the next few days. So even though temperatures are going to be close to if not just slightly warmer than the seasonal average, we're not going to have a whole lot of wind during the week. So that makes it feel that much more uh, uh, bearable or manageable when you step outside. You don't have to worry about those raw winds and things like that. Uh, and in the meantime, also a quiet dry pattern. Here's day planner today. A lot of sunshine, just a hint of a breeze out of the south and southeast around five or six miles per hour away from the 20s to around 30 at lunchtime, 35 the expected high this afternoon. And then tonight we drop back into the low 20s by sunrise tomorrow. 13 right now, uh, it feels like five. Air pressure steady in Rochester. There's a better view of all that frost out there. Some of the rooftops, some of the fields. A really good night for some frost with clear skies and very cold, dry air. Temperatures kind of bottomed out and uh, with no wind at all to mix things up, you have great frost development potential. And that's what we had uh, overnight into this morning. 13 in Rochester now, it's 19 in Northwood, 10 in Mason City, and 14 in Red Wing. We know 16 from here. Again, we'll talk about 35 to 38 or so those afternoon high temperatures. We're high pressure dominating the weather picture right now. The system that we dealt with over the weekend still slowly trudging its way toward the east coast. Another one to our northwest, a much weaker, smaller system. That is going to miss us to the west to go straight southward, being diverted by high pressure. Here's future cast. We have sunshine throughout today, a hit of a south breeze. Uh, tonight, heading into tomorrow, just a few very thin cirrus clouds come into the weather picture. Winds turn more to the northwest as the system comes through, but still fairly mild air being drawn in ahead of it. Uh, help us reach the 30s tomorrow, even with just a light northwest breeze. And there's a few leftover clouds into Thursday before high pressure from the west again clears things out altogether heading into the weekend. So today look for 35 in Rochester, 38 Mason City, 38 in Albert Lee, and 39 Red Wing. At one point Red Wing was in the single digits, but they're going to do a whole lot better by this afternoon. Just a hint of a southeast wind, mostly sunny skies, 35 the expected high here in Rochester tonight. 19, mainly clear skies, very light southwest winds. And then tomorrow, light northwest breeze, 38, mostly sunny skies, still slightly warmer, so just very thin uh, cirrus clouds at times. A handful of extra clouds Thursday, and slightly cooler will be in the mid 30s there. Then we see temperatures really take off to around 40 as we head into the weekend, and then uh, heading into Sunday, maybe a little bit of a breezier situation there, but really no precipitation chances. A jet stream uh, taking a, a jaunt to the north and that's going to allow some pretty warm air in for the weekend. See that ridge coming in from the west and the warmth comes in for Saturday, Sunday and most of next week as well. Uh, for today though, look for temperatures in the upper 30s. Tomorrow likewise and then over the next few days uh, dry, sunny and kind of in, in the same area with those temperatures. Pretty decent for December standards. These numbers are really nice. Anywhere from about 5 to 10 degrees above the seasonal average with uh, in, in most cases aside from maybe Sunday that cold front's going to stir things up a little bit not much wind uh, and it does not look like we'll see any snowfall until at earliest maybe the end of next week or, the, or beyond and probably at this point will be the second half of December before we get into that type of change uh, the pattern right now looking very dry for us so if you're a fan of very tranquil, quiet, peaceful weather, this is good news. If you're hoping for something a little more uh, exciting, I guess I'll have to be pac patient because it may be the second half of December before we even start talking about uh, measurable snow or having a white Christmas. It's still a few weeks away. It's still early to talk about that. But um, right now, it's going to be uh, 
probably Brown and Till. We get much closer. In the meantime, have a great uh, Tuesday. We'll see you right back here tomorrow for Hump Day.